Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be uh, this look that I created today. I'm extremely happy with it. Um, I had a couple products that I was inspired by to do this look today. Um, and those two were the um, let's see, Wet n Wild Color Icon Loose Pigment in Heart of Rose Gold which I love this. I use this on a lot of my bridal clients because it's just a beautiful shade for that really romantic look that a lot of brides look for. And then the other is the Kiko Cosmetics Infinity High Pigmented Shadow. This is in the shade 275. It's like a beautiful royal blue. Um, so I was just um, unpacking my makeup the other day and like um, kind of reorganizing it a little bit and I was just really inspired by those two products so I decided to create this look um, again I'm extremely happy with it I think it's a really pretty look to go outside to go outside not to go outside to go like on a date or something like that um, so yeah I feel like super snatched right now because I have a lot of makeup on this face and I have not done a lot of makeup like this in a very long time um, so I'm excited to get back into it so if you guys want to see um, how I created this look then just keep on watching and please before you uh, continue to watch and before you leave this video after it's done um, please be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you do like it um, so yeah let's get into the tutorial Okay guys, so now I'm going in with a little bit of this beauty oil. It's by Nux or Nux Beauty. I'm probably totally butchering that, but it's the Wheel for the Jus. Um, that's what it's called. Um, it's a beauty oil, so yeah, I applied that just all over my face. I went in with a little bit of Ready Set Radiant by Tarte, and then now I'm going to go in with Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the anti-aging one, and I'm just going to spread that all over my lids and. Okay, now we're going in with a creamy vanilla color um, just to set that um, primer all over the eye with a little fluffy brush. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to set this and um, we're going to go in after with a blue from the good old Coastal Scents 88 eyeshadow palette. I'm taking it like way back with this one. Like, if you guys have really like watched YouTube and been on YouTube, for a really long time, y'all know. And um, I used to think that this was like the best thing ever. Now I realize that it really, truly um, isn't as pigmented as I once thought it was. Um, it kind of like you have to like um, layer it up if you really want true color payoff. And then after this, I'm going to go in with the Kiko Cosmetics um, 275 shade in their um, high pigment eyeshadow. It's a really beautiful, um, like cobalt royal blue. So I'm going to go in with that right after this, and then I will jump back on here on our next step. As you can see, I just picked up a um, tighter blending brush, not one that was so fluffy as the one that we were using before. And I'm kind of just going over um, all the areas of the eyeshadow where the eyeshadow ends just to make it a more diffused line. And as you can see in this video, I was having a good old time listening to some J-Lo and some J. Cole and some uh, J. Holiday and some... Jasmine Sullivan because girl do you see my face look at my face I'm getting so into it thank god I took the voice out of this thing and I'm just like doing talk to this thing back because I was gonna I, I spared you guys I mean I'm not a bad singer but y'all did not want to hear what was happening during this video because I was obnoxious like obnoxious but yeah 
getting back into this. Um, again, I am just going back and forth and using the fluffy brush, using the, um, the other blending brush that's a little stiffer, and then using this brush, which is kind of like the blending brush, except it's not as stiff, it's very soft. Um, it's also not as dense. This one's from CAO Cosmetics, and then the other two are from Crown Cosmetics, which is probably, uh, or Crown Brushes, I mean. Um, which is definitely like one of my favorite brush lines. I think they're super affordable, um, super high quality, and I've been using them for years. Now I'm going in with that same stiff blending brush and I'm just going in with a little bit of the NYX Primal Colors in black just to um, define that outer corner. I know that I keep saying um, I am very sorry, I promise I'm working on that and I will not say it anymore or I will try to say it less because I know that it annoys me so I can only imagine how much it annoys you guys. Now I'm going in with a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, I honestly just started using this maybe like a week ago, a week and a half ago, not even, yeah, a week ago. And I have to say that the hype is real on this. Um, this concealer is awesome. It really does cover a lot. It's very creamy, it doesn't crease, and I'm a person that um, concealer creases a lot on me. So I was very happy to use this. This is my first time actually using it to cut a crease. Um, I just used it with like a flat synthetic brush and then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild color icon in a part of Rose Gold. And I'm just going to pack that on uh, with a flat brush from Ulta. I love this brush to pack on uh, pigment onto the, um, onto the lid. I'm really trying not to stay on the guys. I hope, I hope you know what I'm trying. Um, so yeah, I'm just blending it around uh, the edges and then I'm adding in a little bit more of that blue and then towards the end of this, I believe, I add a little bit more black just to uh, make everything a little bit more seamless and I'm doing the exact same thing on the other eye. So just cut your crease and then after that, just pat on that um, eyeshadow, or that pigment I mean. I am extremely happy again with how this came out. I think the colors are super complementary to each other. I think they look really nice and this would actually be a very pretty like um, winter look just because I think of like Snow Queen, Snow Princess, you know what I mean? So yeah, I really like this. Okay, so I, I know that I keep touching my eyes, but for whatever reason, they were being very sensitive today. And I know that the worst thing that you can do is touch your eyes, but you know, I'm a mask here, so. Now I'm going in with a little bit of gel liner. Just doing, um, I originally intended, intended, intended to do just a really simple winged line, or winged liner, I should say. And it just turned into like, ba bam thickness and I think the reason for that is because I've been noticing that one of my eyes actually is a little more hooded than the other one so for whatever reason it always looks like one eye has a lot more liner than the other one even though it doesn't so to make up for that I actually have to put more liner on one so it can actually look even if that makes any sense but yeah I'm just going to wing this out and then right after this you guys aren't going to see it because um, my lashes were just um, I don't know, they were kind of being a little difficult today and um, there was a little bit of running around class. So I decided to just do my lashes off camera and then I just hop back on. So if you guys see um, lashes on my face and you're like, hey wait, did they grow like 3.5 inches? 
3.5 seconds and really did not grow in 3.5 seconds. I just added a pair of new ones. Now I'm just adding a little bit of the NYX gel uh, eyeliner. It's a really, really good pencil. I personally really, really like it. I have it in a couple colors and um, yeah, I really like it. Now I'm adding the Scandalize Retro Glam, I think. Um, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Retro Glam Mascara and that is by Rimmel. I really like it. Uh, I've been using it for a while and yeah, I just added some of that. Now I'm going in with Benefit Professional Primer. This is the gel one, not the one that's um, creamier, like um, like the skin tone color, or like the fleshy tone color. I'm using the one that's gel, and then I'm going in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation. This is really really pretty. Uh, I was using a few products that I used to use a lot in the past, and I was just revisiting them. So, oh, and if you guys saw that I kept looking at the bottles because I was trying to find my shade, and I am shade light sand which might be a little too light for me but once I go in with uh, my bronzer and things like that everything looks put together neat. Also, as you guys probably already saw, I was using the Real Techniques uh, sponge. I'm so sorry, my husband just sent me a message on Instagram. <laughs> um, so you might have heard like the notification thing. But I'm also going in with the Tarte Shape Tape uh, just on any blemishes I may have on the tip of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and on my under eyes. And I'm just blending all of that out now. Now I'm going in with one of my favorite things. This is the Cinema Secrets uh, Foundation Palette. Uh, these are small palettes that have about five shades. I've had these for a while and they last for a really, really long time and I don't even think they're that expensive. So I'm just using that to contour. Again, I have this in my kit. Whenever I'm working on photo shoots, it's always good to have this because you have a wider range of tones that you can use on your different models. Um, so yeah, I love that product. It's a really creamy product. Um, sometimes it can be a little thick, so it does take a little bit of work into the skin. But it is an amazing product, and I totally recommend it. I get mine from Camera Ready Cosmetics, which is one of my favorite um, online retailers. Or it's online for me. I, I don't believe that they have a store. If they do, please um, correct me. But um, I love your website. I'm huge fan. So I'm just contouring all areas of my face, under my lip, under my chin, because you know, now that I'm pregnant, I got not only the double chin, I got the triple and the quadruple and the double chin, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just contouring my cheeks to oblivion and um, you know the Peralta entradas that I have. So yeah, I did that and then just a little bit on my nose and then now I am highlighting with Benefits High Beam, which is one of my favorite uh, liquid highlighters to use. I like to use this on my brides to give them that nice glowy look and to give a really nice base for my powder highlighters. So this part, like I was just like shocked at how like good it was all looking. Not because like I doubt myself. Because, and I know that I probably sound super cocky in this video, but it's not that. It's just like, you know, I was feeling good today with this makeup and I, I needed to let everybody know. And now I'm going in with 
the Coty uh, Airspun Powder. This powder is super cheap, lasts you forever, and it's just a really, really good powder. Um, I don't necessarily bake, I kind of just like pat it into my skin loosely, and then, or loosely in some areas, and then in some other areas I pack it into my skin, and then I just go over with a big powder brush and I just sweep it all away. And now I'm just taking my Bobbi Brown travel size blush brush and I went in with the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. I just really like this powder to kind of give a nice all over warm glow to the face. Um, and then after this I am just like putting a little bit around the nose as well just to set that contour from before and the lip. And then now I am going in, oh there we go. I'm going in with Benefits Cola Bronzer. This is probably my favorite contouring product because it just goes really well with the skin tone. It's very smooth um, and it's just a classic product. So I just went in a little bit of that just to contour. And then this brush is from CBS. It's a great highlighting brush. It's from NUA. Um, and I just went in with my Becca highlighter in Opal and I'm just hitting my nose, my cupid's bow, and the tops of my cheekbones. And then now I'm going in with my all-time favorite blush. It's from Kat Von D. And oh, actually before I go in with the Kat Von D blush, I'm just putting the same Becca Opal highlighter on my inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. And then now I'm going in with my all-time favorite blush. It's by Kat Von D. And it's called um, Pencil and Gretel. It's like duo blushes and it's such a beautiful color like so pretty and then just to set everything I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray now I'm going in just very quickly with my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony the perfect color for my eyebrows because my eyebrows are very dark. Um, so yeah, I'm just going in with that and um, a double-sided or double-ended spoolie and um, an angled liner brush. So I'm just using that. This brush is from Crown Brushes. Again, I'm a huge fan of the products. Uh, this video is not sponsored by them, but hey, if you want to send some products my way, I am totally open to it. Um, and then I'm going in with the Essence. Um, make me brow in brownie brows. I believe that's the name of the product. You know, just went really quickly across the screen, so I'm sorry about that. But I really like this product. I'm pretty sure it has like little fibers in it, so it makes your eyebrows look really thick without looking really fake. You know what I mean? And then I'm just taking the same Kiko Cosmetics um, eyeshadow and just going in halfway on um, my under eyes, um, on my lower lash line. I mean. And then I'm also going in with a little bit of the black as well, um, just to add a little bit of dimension, a little bit of smokiness. And then I'm going to go back in with the same brush that I used before and just kind of smoke that all out. And then on the inner portion of my lower lash line, I'm going in with a little bit more of that rose gold pigment. And I think it just added a really pretty and feminine look to this whole thing. And then I'm just finishing my lower lash line with some more mascara and then we're going to move on to lips. So now I'm going in with one of NYX's lip pencils. Their lip pencils are some of my favorite, if not my favorite. Um, they're really creamy, really affordable, and they last a really long time. This shade is in the shade Taupe. It's pretty much my lip color, but I just wanted to define my lips a little bit since I've kind of gotten washed out with my foundation. The next thing I'm using is actually um, the ColourPop Liquid Lippy in Monday, which is probably my favorite nude shade. Um, and the reason why I made like a sad face is because it had actually rubbed off of the packaging in ColourPop. And then I'm going in with Marvelous Foxy's Gloss. 
I'm not sure what shade this is, but I will have everything listed down below if you are interested in anything. This is probably one of my favorite glosses as it's super um, nice and super, super fun. And that's the completed look. Now watch me just very awkwardly look away from the camera and look to the camera and look away from the camera. If you guys enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys.